Hello, welcome to the Counterpoint Conversation. Today we invite Andrew Ick from Marvel, and also we have uh, and Leo and the Brady, and that's me, to join the conversation. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the today. You have a great uh, speech in Semicon today. Uh, things that you talk about lack of tests, right? So the first question I just want to know about what because of you focusing on the testing. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, testing is very important for no matter in the AI or even for uh, you know we are talking about the CPO. Uh, so what kind of the information for Marvel want to deliver to the industry? Yeah, for testing. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, I, I think um, in my in my conclusion slides. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. um, I think. Um, one thing I wanted to say was that we really need to collaborate and innovate together, right? So not one mm -hmm. company, I think, can solve the optical testing challenges. Uh, we're going to have to all uh, collaborate and innovate mm -hmm. together. And then we're kind of two main themes throughout the testing. Yeah. Uh, one was uh, to shifting left to scale test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And shifting left means a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, so one is we have to invest in technology earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a lot of people think, oh, when CPO come in, it will be <laughs> two years now, three years from now. Okay. But, you know, you're not going to be waiting until then mm -hmm. uh, to develop the technology because yeah. it'll be too late, you know, when you're the exactly. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Shifting left also means to, um, you know, uh, build um, test vehicles and test chips to prove those technologies mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of the same idea to do things earlier. And then shifting left also means moving a lot more test coverage to the wafer level. Like yeah, you see what I was saying. Mm -hmm. um, and over and you know we don't make sure um, that we have no good dye, right? Because the cost of scrap yeah. uh, in your case is very high. And then the other uh, main thing is that we have to leverage the existing IC manufacturing mm -hmm. infrastructure. So this is one of the key messages that that I want you to give. We already have a you know scalable and you know a very automated and reliable uh, test infrastructure mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. and i think it's something that you know we can leverage and use in the photonic industry and we don't have to reinvent the wheel also okay yeah i think those are the kind of key messages i wanted yeah. to show that's very important yeah so i think the next question about the uh, your strategy on the test so because of the uh no matter from the ecosystem or even the strategy i think so, yeah you need because of CPO now is you can say the reorganize the, all the ecosystem. So what's your point of view about the, all the test you know ecosystem? You know, just we talk about from uh, left to right uh, in section one to five. So what kind of the strategy in your company? Yeah, yeah. So we're working on all the uh, test instructions, right? Um, of course, you're going to need all of them mm -hmm. um, in order to make a final product, right? So um, I think what we really need to consider is what we need to test at mm -hmm. different testing sessions, right? Um, so I mentioned today that we may do a lot of more parametric tests okay. at the mm -hmm. uh, wafer uh, and the chip level. Chip level. Mm -hmm. Then we do a lot more, obviously, functional test um, once we reach the uh, engine and okay. the Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So one of the keys is, you know, how do you, it's no known good diet, mm -hmm. or chip looks, right? So if we're, trying to uh, get the test content, uh, as much test content, as much known good die as we can to the left of the manufacturing process, mm -hmm. then we really need to invest more on wafer level testing and chip level testing, mm -hmm. right? And so to that end, um, you know, the, we're doing a lot of partnership uh, with the big AT vendors, with the pro card vendors um, to design really dense Mm -hmm. Really highly integrated optical and electrical pro card, yeah, right. Um, that work at very high speed, right. Mm -hmm. so today, I showed like we are actually integrating a vertical pin technology mm -hmm. uh, that works up to uh, sixty-seven gigahertz, and we have that that card today. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So that really, uh, so that's one of the focuses, and of course, we focus on on, on every insertion. Um, you know, what we showed our optical engine test mm -hmm. as well today, um, and that is, you know, not a lot different than, you know, the electrical IC testers uh, mm -hmm. that you see today. So our uh, optical uh, tester has actually built on electrical mm -hmm. SOT testing. Mm -hmm. you know, we just put an optical 
uh, element in there to do the alignment. But other than that, if you if you you know saw the video, it pretty much looks like you know uh, um, electrical IC. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and the way the optical IC is tested like an electrical IC. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so because of the we are in Taiwan, right? Semicom. So uh, also the other question is I'm very curious about the what's your point of view about the Taiwan because Taiwan we have a little bit mature or even a lot of the you know like test company from the pro card even to the tester. So what's your point of view? Uh, Taiwan's uh, test company's position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yeah. So so if you're talking about electrical. Mm -hmm. And electrical infrastructure, um, and and you know traditional semiconductor mm -hmm. IC testing. I, I don't think there's anywhere else in the world that's <laughs> this scale of the ecosystem, right? So mm -hmm. in terms of you know um, OSATs and yeah, terms of foundry, mm -hmm. right? Everything, uh, well, I'll say everything, but it, it, it's all um, a very strong ecosystem mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. That's the semiconductor industry. Mm -hmm. In terms of optics, there's also quite a lot of optics here. There are a lot of optical uh, module companies. There are a lot of you know mm. laser company. Yes, yes. Um, mm. And I think that that the knowledge here exists not just um, you know in the semiconductor mm. area, yeah. but also in in the optics as well. Mm. And so, if we're able to kind of you know, as I said, try to leverage the existing semiconductor in, in, uh, you know uh, scale. Mm -hmm. um, then we can actually, you know, build on top of the semiconductor um, uh, test industry, mm -hmm. and we can add these optical, um, you know, testing uh, capabilities onto those testers. But I, I do think the all the ingredients are here in Taiwan uh, okay. because you're able to make a a, a very, um, you know, capable ecosystem. Okay, thanks for your comment. Yeah, <laughs> that's very good. Yeah. Uh so you talked about the uh, I think the. Electric and optics, right? So uh, they will go to another topic will be integration. So because of the in CPU actually, there's a lot of integration between the uh, no major, just you mentioned from the uh, foundry, electric, copper, optics. So what's your point of view about the uh, integration of the for the test? Yeah. So for my presentation, hmm. right, uh, we're looking at optical and electrical integration on multiple test platforms, right? So okay. that we show mm -hmm. uh, was on the wafer level, right? So there, we're actually integrating the optical and electrical into the probe mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we actually put optical aligners inside the probe card, um, and that allows the tester uh, to direct dock with the probe card, mm -hmm. and, and we can actually blind mate both the electrical signals and the optical signals together, right? Okay. And uh, so that's the way that we bring optical testing, uh, at least on the wafer probing level. Mm -hmm. And then on the engine testing level, uh, today we're doing it um, in a socket test, right? So the engines today look like, um, you know, uh, oh, you just know. A, mm -hmm. uh, sub uh, chips on a substrate, right? And so we're going to take these and we use standard um, uh, handlers and um, we're able to automate on mm. um, the pick and place and are uh, using the, the traditional semiconductor IC um, handling. And then we actually have an optical liner where, mm -hmm. that we place inside this, mm -hmm. this uh, SLT handler and we can actually do the optical alignment uh, as well. Right. So this is how we bring the optics uh, with the uh, electronics automation. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a very good point. Yeah. Thanks. So I think the last question that I want to know about the uh because of future, right? In the future CPO will be become the mainstream. Uh so what's your opinion about the, what's the main bottleneck or main challenge for the CPO for going move, moving forward? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I, I I I think there are quite a few challenges, but if I was just to pick on a couple of them. Um I think one thing is 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 uh, related to the test time, I think mm -hmm. that traditionally optics test time has been quite long, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is is kind of like uh, single sided one by one. Yes. Okay? Um, so as we move on, I think that if we build on top of the IT manufacturing industry, then we can actually, um, you know, try to use the parallelism of mm -hmm. Zubay AT testers 
uh, to do the optical testing, right? Okay. So then we can move from single site uh, to multi site mm -hmm. or get better throughput of test cell, right? And I think the other is that, you know, we still use a lot of rack and stack systems, right? Because the optical instruments today yeah. are not really available in kind of a, a, a test of format, right? Mm -hmm. So we always have to bring uh, third-party instruments oh. and lasers, mm -hmm. um, you know, detectors, and we have to put them, you know, kind of next to the tester, right? And so the integration there is not as tight as it could mm -hmm. be. And I think that if there were native AT instruments, and, and that's really a call to kind of, you know, um, go down this route, okay, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. we could actually have more um, parallelism as well, right? Okay. And we could really kind of, you know, build uh, the same scale we have in virtual IC testing as, as well. Wow, that's, that's a big challenge, yes. Yeah, right. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Really, thanks. Yeah. I think today we learned a lot about the, your your opinion and uh, also figure out about the, what's the, how important of testing in the CPO, even uh, we call the optical and networking. Yeah. Very really, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank yeah. you for having me. Okay. Thank you.